I mastered Microsoft Excel and made $250,000 in a single year on a platform called Upwork.com where I was a full-time freelancer. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach. I'm a full-time freelancer. And in two years, I've accumulated over $500,000 on the freelancing platform Upwork.com where a large portion of that has come from just knowing and mastering Microsoft Excel. Before we get into Excel and exactly how I am able to earn this kind of money from just Microsoft Excel, I first wanna talk about Upwork and what it has to offer and how you guys can get in there and how you can start your freelancing career today. If you don't know what Upwork is, it's a pretty straightforward freelancing platform where freelancers can go create a profile and find jobs and bid on jobs that they have the skill set to complete and then the clients will pay them to complete those projects or those tasks. Clients will go onto the platform, they will type out their job description or the project that they want completed. Freelancers will then bid on those jobs and the clients will review all the bids that have come in and then select a freelancer that they want to complete that job and they will either pay that freelancer either on an hourly basis or on a fixed price contract basis. Hourly contracts are exactly as they sound. You will bid on a project, and depending on what that project is and your experience, you will be able to determine that hourly rate. So keep in mind, you know, there are some skills that are easier than others, some skills that are extremely complex. If it's like maybe something engineering based, those hourly rates might be higher, as opposed to something in maybe a voiceover contract or project. Um, so the hourly rate will, will vary, depend on the skill and the experience that you have but you'll bid on those jobs that the client has, has listed. They will interview you and you guys will come to an agreement on the hourly rate. You will work on that project and bill your hours appropriately. They will pay you based on the hourly basis and then you'll hand over the project once it's complete. Pretty straightforward. Fixed price contracts, however, are as they sound, fixed price. So you and the client will work together on figuring out what the project requirements are or the tasks and you will come back to the client and say, hey, I think I can complete this project for $1,000. What do you say? The client will either say, yes, this is great, or no, that is way too much money, and you'll have to move on to the next one or lower your fixed price rate. But those are the two options here. We have hourly contracts and fixed price contracts. So I wanna talk about the skill in particular that I use to have generated over $250,000 in 2023. Now, everybody knows what Microsoft Excel is. Now, the 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 high hourly rates and the high fixed price jobs that you can get paid for is when you know a skill called VBA. And VBA is basically the back-end programming language of all Microsoft products, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel, even Outlook. There's a back-end programming language that you can learn that you can automate specific tasks or different procedures that people go through in any of those platforms. Now, as I mentioned, Microsoft Excel is where I have uh, found my most success. There are tons of contracts out there on Upwork or clients that are needing um, this VBA skill. From my experience, VBA has been the easiest one to learn, and it's, it's, it's in the world of Microsoft Excel. And so if you have a very good grasp on Microsoft Excel, you'll have an easier time learning VBA and how to implement this scripting language in your projects. So what is VBA and how can it be used to automate processes? So let's talk about an example. Let's say Bob receives a file every Monday morning and on that file, he has to do two steps. He has to delete column A and then he has to go through each row and delete any record where the date is greater than today's date, okay? So that process, delete column A and then delete rows where a condition is met that process is repeatable. Bob has to do it every Monday morning, every Monday morning, every Monday morning, no question. And so there is a way to where we can automate that process. So instead of having to manually do that, VBA can come in and automate that whole thing for him. So he just has to click a button and then that process is done. So let's go through this example of Bob where I'd mentioned he has to delete column A and then he has to go through each row and delete the rows that meet that criteria of where the date is greater than today's date. Okay, so let's go over to the code and I'll show you exactly how VBA can automate this process and how powerful it can be and how much time can be saved when applied appropriately to these Excel documents. Okay, so here we have <clears throat> Bob's data, okay? He's, remember the process is deletes this column, then he goes through each row here and determines if this date is greater than today's date, okay? So let's pull up the VBA editor window. We're gonna go down here to sheet one. We can hit view code, and now we're open with a blank VBA 
uh, environment here to where we can start writing our code. Now I'm gonna kind of go through this code a little bit faster because that's not what today's video is about. I just wanna show you what VBA is and how it can be used to automate this process for Bob. All right, so we're gonna start with um, our sub. I'm gonna call this, we'll just call it sub cleanup. All right, and then the first thing we need to do is we need to delete that column. So we're gonna do active sheet dot columns, column A dot delete. Okay, so that's gonna delete the column. Done, that process is complete. Now what we need to do is go through each one of those rows and determine which ones we can delete. Delete those rows and move on, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is determine our last row of our data sheet, our data set here. So we're gonna say cells.activesheet. Sorry, dot rows, dot count, column one, dot end, Excel up, dot row. Okay, so that's gonna get the last row of our data set. Now we're gonna do a loop. We're gonna be looping backwards through here. So we're gonna say for I equals last row to two, step minus one, next I. Again, we're not gonna get into too much detail here. Then we're gonna say if range A and I dot value is greater than the date today than range a a and i dot entire row dot delete and bam and then we'll conclude it with a nice little message box that says hey you're done just like that okay so now if we go back to our sheet here so we have our data set now watch when i press this little play button up here play it says done we go back to our Excel sheet, bam. So tap column A was deleted. And now you can see that um, all of the records now are less than today's date. So Bob no longer has to manually go through that process. He can just take that code, get the new data set that he, he gets every Monday, drop that code into that workbook, hit run, and it'll complete that task for him. Done. So you might be asking yourself, why are clients so willing to pay such high hourly rates or high fixed price contract rates for this type of work? For what you just saw there, now obviously that was a very simple, basic VBA script, but the skills there, I charge clients $100 to $150 an hour to be able to automate things just like that. So you gotta think, why would somebody be willing to pay that much money? Well, if you think about it, these VBA scripts or these repetitive tasks that companies or people have can be very complex. So for example's sake, one of the, my most recent contracts, this gentleman was creating 600 invoices to send to his clients manually. And he was doing this all in Excel. It was really the improper way to do it. He should have been using QuickBooks or something like that. But he loved Excel, so he wanted to keep it in Excel. So he wanted to automate creating all 600 of these invoices in a single button click. And so an example like that, I charged him a hundred bucks an hour. And now when he's at the end of the month, instead of creating 600 invoices on his own, all he does is he takes the data from the sheet that's going to populate the invoices. He drops that data into the workbook, hits a button, 600 invoices are created. 600 emails are sent to each of those clients via an Outlook object, and his process is done in 10 minutes. So it went from an eight or eight to 16 hour process, it usually took him two days to create all these invoices, went down to 10 minutes in a single button click, and that process is done. Now you gotta think, if you're a big company or even a medium-sized company, those minutes or those hours that are saved for each employee is a lot of money saved for the company th themselves. So those employees can spend time doing what they're good at as opposed to spending time in Excel doing repetitive processes. So this is a perfect example of where VBA was implemented to save the client so much time in his company and so much money. So if you're interested in learning a skill like VBA, I put together a short course that goes through each and every milestone that I have accomplished in my Upwork freelancing career. When I was charging 20 bucks an hour, 40 bucks an hour, $75 an hour, and now $150 an hour. The course that I put together is broken down by those hourly rates and the skills that you need to know in order to charge those hourly rates. Now, the $150 an hour is obviously everything included up to that $150 an hour. So I would highly, highly recommend 
spending a lot of time on the very first couple modules and really get a good, good understanding of what VBA is and how it is used and implemented in all of these types of Excel projects. The course can be found in the description below. So if you're interested, check it out, see what it has to offer. I'd love to see you guys take that course, really mastering that VBA skill and then take those skills to a freelancing platform and you guys can change your life. Thank you guys again. See you in the next video. Peace.